Hello everybody and welcome back to Tony North Eastern and uh, what we're going to be making today is some sledges we're going to go with the Christmas theme and um, and how I make them so let's get started so in order to make the sledge you need something for the scale of the sledge so I've just got this little lad and I'm going to use all the sizes and dimensions of this little figure to make a sledge. Right here are the measurements for the sledge. Uh, it's 20 millimeters long, that's from the tip of the curl here um, to the edge of the runner. Um, 7 millimeters high off the floor and approximately 7 millimeters deep and 40 millimeters long for the actual um, seat. But we'll that might change as we go along. Um, so I've decided to use a four millimeter drill bit and just wrap the copper around it, pulling it tight and then just cutting the edge of the circle off to form the curl. So I shall continue and make some more of these. So what I did was I just wrapped it around the, the drill bit and then just pulled it nice and tight so you end up with a nice straight bit of copper away from the curl and then pull the drill bit out and you're left with a swirl like that and you just cut off the lower piece and leave the circle and then just tuck it in so it's level with the bottom rail So as you can see I've cut my runners, um, what I've actually done as well, I have cut a little piece out and just pinched it a little bit to bring them closer together, just so I've got more room for the seat. So the next thing is, is to make the supports for the seat. So I'm designing some supports now um, using the copper wire yet again. As you can see, it's 21 millimeters long and it's got a 90 degrees bend on either end. So this is how I'm doing these supports. Just a pair of tweezers, put the copper wire in, hold it really tight and then turn the copper wire to about 90 degrees. That's one bend, and then just lie it on the roll outside the copper edge here. And line with the roll, measure 21 with a pencil, just about to see the mark. Put the pencil on the outside, making sure that you're 90 degrees facing you, and then just bend it up. and then trim it down so you've only got a couple of millimetres right so before you start make sure your two um, supports are identical in lengthwise otherwise when you come to fold these together you might not get them the right height so it's important that we do that. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to put a little bit of flux on here and we're going to solder these together. Roughly about a couple of millimeters away from the curl. So that's one done. And I'll just put the other one roughly about eight millimeters apart. Just about to see the mark. Thank you. 
So you get something like that. And then once we've glued, uh, soldered the other half on, it's just a case of folding it into shape. So before you glue the other side on, just make sure the edges are nice and square. And your two supports are parallel to each other. And here we are, that's ready to be folded. So now I've got to mark 7mm up from the bottom and then both ends and then just fold it. So as you can see I've bent these supports now and it looks like a framework of a sledge. So let's try the little character on there. If I can just hold him in place. Yeah, I think he'll sit on there. So that's my first attempt. So I shall make the others and then we'll start um, painting them up. And here we have one of the sledges complete. Um, the others are still a bit uh, damp. And all I did for the seating was just a bit of card, scribed with a pen, and then painted a woody colour. So, this is how to make a sledge. Never made one before. And uh, along the way, there's been some revised sizes. So, if you want to make one yourself here is the sizes so thanks again for watching nice little short video bye for now bye